Hello, I'm Vivian, and this is day 38 of my intermittent fasting. It's Sunday, um, February 25th. I hadn't done an update in a while because things were just kind of holding steady. Uh, I've been in the low 170s. Today I weighed in at 172.8. I've weighed in as low as 169.8 this week. But uh, Thursday night and Friday I had shrimp, which kind of elevates things. And yesterday I had a traumatic injury. Four stitches on the inside of my pinky. Eating and trying to get the seed out of an avocado. Holding, it was a bunch of things I knew better than to do, but I did because I was thinking about something else. And I got four stitches and I'm on some pain meds but I was getting a lot done before I did that and afterwards um, I could take this thing off today <laughs> uh, but uh, nine more days before the stitches come out I've been really hungry this week too for some reason um, it's been really difficult for me to make it to even lunchtime to, till noon when it was easy before. I don't know what's changed. Um, the temperature's been hot. Our AC has been off. Um, going to get that fixed. Uh, getting, I'm not getting my steps in. Of course, Wednesdays I got like over 12,000 steps, but the rest of the week has been, around, I guess, around we can round it off to about 6,000 average the rest of the week. Uh, I'm not doing my exercises like I should. Uh, let's see what else. I'm eating more. Just... I don't under, and I'm not sleeping. Uh, the first, I had two days, the first two days without any caffeine, no coffee, no tea. I slept really well those two, two nights, and then it went back to what it was. So, a lot of discouragement, but back, back on the wagon, back on the, um, not, I didn't go to church, not going to church today, which is sad. It's a, but, um, just going to take care of myself, maybe just relax, no makeup. I just feel awful. I'm in a scrub top. I was in a uh, scrub top yesterday, and as soon as I cut myself, I was like clenched and held it, at, um, grabbed some paper towels, wrapped it, held it against myself. So I got blood all over the front of my scrub top from yesterday because I was going to do some woodworking. I don't know if I can do any woodworking today, but I just felt so grungy. I went ahead and just put another scrub top on. This thing should be cleared up, but it's not. Um, it's just very dry throat for some reason. It's a lot going on this week. Tomorrow I should get the stuff for uh, from Dollar Tree the, to do the trays. Um, I ran out of this last week, so I knew when I went to, um, to Costco's Wednesday to get some more before, because um, I, you know, I fill my pill bottles for two weeks at a time now. And this says on here, oh, I saw it, where is it now? Oh yeah, at the bottom it says no milk, eggs, fish. Uh, it goes on and on. Wheat it says no no wheat, no so soybeans, no yeast, no artificial colors or preservatives, no peanuts, uh, no tree nuts, no shellfish. So um, this is the old bottle that empty. So I went to get the same brand. And on, you know, it comes in this, um, 
it's packaged with this big sheet sticking out. So it's got all that information big. And it says contains wheat now. So I was like looking around. So I got a different one. But I'm wondering if this has, you know, why would they change their recipe? Every, um, unless maybe it had wheat in it or someone realized it did. I don't know. So anyway, I, ch I changed it. Um, been on that for since Thursday, the new one. And it has a whole bunch of other stuff. It's, it's a biotin for hair and it's got selenium and zinc. It's got all, it's like a multivitamin really. So I don't know that that's changed too. And I, I'm hoping that come this afternoon, I'm not going to be taking any more pain medicine. I did take some just a little while ago when I got up and I'm, I'm seriously yesterday. Um, I can tolerate pain. I, I think I got a high uh, pain threshold. And taking the medication, it made me groggy, made me a little bit um, unstable um, when I walked. And it hurt. So I'm like, if that pain medicine is actually working, this would be seriously, seriously painful. So I get to take it off and look at it. I can't, I'm still going, I can't believe I did that. I, that was like really, really dumb. But it, it happened really fast and changed, uh, changed all our plans for yesterday and, and this coming week. But I'm going to push through and do what I can. I think what I'm going to do, because I, even last night I was hurting, um, I'm going to kind of put these two fingers together. I'm going to take this thing off. I'm going to kind of tape, tape, um, tape it together because that's what when I separate that's when it really hurts so um, if I keep it together then that skin's not going to stretch and it I, I cut into like so fortunately I didn't cut anything um, I, I had my bill you know I could still move this finger um, so I look it, I feel it, got to get over it. Thanks for joining me on this. Um, I also need to do something this coming week to kind of break that 170 threshold. So I at least be in the upper 160s for a while and, you know, make it more gradual. I'm doing something wrong, obviously, or something not quite right. I don't know. Anyway, pray for me. And uh, thanks for joining me on this. Be a blessing and be blessed.